Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I have part two of my crazy big empties video. This is nine months worth of beauty, lifestyle, makeup type products that I've used and I'll let you know my thoughts and if I would repurchase them. If you're new to my channel, I would love to have you subscribe and let's get into it. So I have this huge, oh gosh, laundry basket full of products. Um, this will be a long video. I'll try to go fairly quickly. So feel free to grab a snack or a drink and get comfortable. The first thing is this Mary Fismas bath bomb. So this was a set of six bath bombs. I got it at Target at Christmas time and it was just a fun little treat during the month of December for my boys if they wanted to take a bath with a Rudolph bath bomb. And I would totally repurchase that if they have it again next year. Another Downy Unstoppable. This is the second one. Um, I had one in my part one. This is the fresh scent and you just put a cap full in with your laundry. Love this, have gone through numerous um, of these. I don't think I saved all of them. I went through over the last nine months, but that's another scent. Um, two of these Dr. Teal foaming baths with Epsom salt, and I love these. They have uh, great scents and they create really good bubbles. I use them, my kiddos use them, my husband uses them. Um, this is the scent Lavender and Eucalyptus and Spearmint. Both of these are really good scents and I will continue to repurchase. It's really affordable bubble bath. Um, another bath product, so Suave Kids, um, Spider-Man shampoo, conditioner, and body wash. And my kiddos use these. Um, I'm not picky with what I use. I just like that it has a pump and I usually go for like a fun scent that is fresh and clean for them. So I have a four-year-old and a seven-year-old, almost five and eight, and I'll repurchase this at some point. Another little bath treat. So these came from Target. This is the Bath Bomb Color Twist. It's like, um, it's like a broken up bath bomb. It's like sand that you would sprinkle into your bath and it changes colors. So these are great for stocking stuffers, or Easter baskets, and yeah, great little treat for the boys when they take a bath. Um, went through a couple face masks. Let's see if I can pull some out. Here. Yeah, there might be more. But for now, I pick out these ones. Oh, here we go. Okay. So vitamin C and collagen moisturizing mask by the brand Azure. There's two of these. Um, my friend came to stay for my birthday this year from Oregon, and we'd had like a spa night. So these are great. They came from TJ Mask, and it says brightening, restoring, wrinkle reducing. I don't know about that, but they were a nice treat. And with these ones, you massage the remaining serum on your face like after you put the sheet mask on sit for 20 minutes take it off throw it away and then you just kind of pat in or rub in whatever's left over i prefer those kinds of masks over the ones that you have to like wash off the excess went through a moisturizing foot mask this one has sea salt this one is shea butter and macadamia oil both were good here's the other one with sea salt i like a foot mask you just usually cut off the top, put them on like a sock, and sit there for 20 minutes while you're doing your face mask. Here's another one by Dead Sea. Again, I like that one. And then this is charcoal and tea tree face masks. This was $3.50 on clearance from TJ Maxx. And there were four different face masks in here. So lots of pampering, it seems, over the last nine months. Um, okay, where to next? Adult multivitamin gummies. These are fine. Um, I'm kind of tired of the gummy vitamins. I just want something that's simple that doesn't have a lot of extra sugar in it. This has two grams of added sugar per serving, which is two gummies. So I don't know. I've gone through several bottles of those. I'll probably buy some more in the future, but I need a change for a while, I think. Um, this is fun. This is a soap from Costco and it comes in a four pack at the holidays really beautiful like old traditional Christmas type packaging and it was in the scent Hollyberry. I didn't necessarily notice that the scent was great but it was just kind of a standard soap. I definitely bought it for the packaging. If this was glass I would save it and refill it but it's pl it's plastic so I'll just recycle. I need a drink of water. 
Okay. What else? L'Oreal Ever Pure Bond Strengthening Shampoo and Conditioner. I love the L'Oreal Ever line of shampoo and conditioner. I've gone through several different um, kinds over the years, and I'll continue to repurchase. I usually mix it up between different brands that I use, but again, that L'Oreal Ever is a great shampoo and conditioner line to try. You buy it at the drugstore. Um, Midnight Amber Glow Moisturizing Body Wash. I didn't love this. Um, I think a lot of people were really liking this when it came out maybe over the winter or last fall. It says Smooth Amber Caramel Latte and Vanilla Bourbon. I was not a fan of the scent, but I got it for free, I think, with like a body care coupon. So I like the moisturizing body wash style of body wash. I don't necessarily prefer it over like the traditional gel, but it's nice to mix it up every once in a while. So I would repurchase this moisturizing body wash style, but I wouldn't get this Midnight Amber Glow again. Um, I went through a strawberry pound cake shower gel. The scent notes here were fresh strawberries, golden shortcake, and whipped cream. I'm going through another one of these actually right now in my shower. It's a really great scent. It smells like a cupcake. Um, so many things. Okay. I went through this raw sugar sugar scrub, and this was in the scent watermelon and fresh mint. This smelled really good, but it also was really exfoliating. Um, I like a, a really abrasive scrub and this raw sugar brand definitely delivered on that. So you can get this at Target and I definitely will try other scents in this. So I enjoyed that. I'll repurchase it. Um, another kids shampoo. This was the raw sugar kids watermelon and apple. I didn't notice that the scent was very strong for this. So I probably wouldn't repurchase it. Well, I'll probably try a different scent, but I really like a strong, like when you get out of the shower, I wanna be able to smell your shampoo or your body wash, I love that. Um, and I didn't necessarily get that with this, but again, it's cute in the shower, fun for the kids, easy pump. So I'll probably purchase that again in another scent. This was, oh, it's so dirty. The Saint Tropez um, Gradual Watermelon Infusion Everyday Moisture Miracle Body Lotion. So it, gives you like a healthy glow, um, kind of a gradual tanner. I really did enjoy this. I got this at TJ Maxx for $9.99. It's originally $17. They usually have the Saint Tropez tanning lotions in various forms at TJ Maxx. So I would totally purchase it there again. Um, my husband went to through this got to be glued spiking gel. He's not super picky with his hair gel, but he's gone through several of these over the years. Um, so yeah, I'd purchase more. Um, this is funny. I was going through some stuff and I was like decluttering and this was left over from when I had little babies that needed butt paste. So this is really good diaper ointment if you have little ones, but it expired in 2019 and my boys are old, you know, too old for this. Well, I guess you could use it if you had a toddler that was like still learning to wipe, you know, had a little bit of a rash every once in a while. But um, yeah, this is expired, so I'm throwing it away. But Bordeaux's butt paste, really good for babies. Um, Living Proof Heat Styling Spray. I, gosh, when did I get this? I feel like I got this at a TJ Maxx. Maybe not, I might have paid full price for this. I didn't necessarily love it. It's one of those sprays that you just like spray on a section of your hair before you straighten it or curl it. And it was good. It wasn't better than any cheaper like drugstore brand that I've tried. So I'm looking for a new one. I actually am not using one right now, which I really want one. So let me know if you know of a good heat styling protector spray. Um, Rock Your Hair Spray It Clean Dry Shampoo. I got this probably at TJ Maxx and it was just fine. Nothing special, I wouldn't repurchase it or wouldn't go out of my way to repurchase it, but yeah, went through it. Um, I went through this Feel Renewed Pumpkin Walnut Facial Cleanser. It was a like a gritty cleanser that had some exfoliating beads in it. I got this in a FabFitFun box. I definitely enjoyed it because of the scent. It definitely had like a pumpkin-y scent to it. Uh, I wouldn't go out of my way to repurchase it, but anything that's like seasonal like that in the fall, I am all about. So 
I would purchase it then if I saw it somewhere and it was affordable. I think I have more than one of these. This is the Olay Retinol and Peptide Night Moisturizer. Um, this came in a two pack at Costco. My husband got it for me like for Christmas two years ago or last year maybe. And this is a pretty simple, straightforward, good night moisturizer if you're looking for something like no muss, no fuss. This Olay works really well. Another Kirkland Costco makeup remover wipe. Okay. Um, I might be filming a favorites video, but just in case I don't, or you don't watch it, this was worthy of me to throw in here. So this is a snack and it's from Trader Joe's and it's the crispy, crunchy, spicy, moochy rice nuggets. Now I'm not usually like a, like I've never purchased these before, but for whatever reason, the fire, I was craving something spicy and I was grocery shopping and I grabbed the bag. They are so addicting and so good. They're little nuggets that are that are probably about that size, probably a little smaller. They're so spicy. So you can have like a serving size is six, no, eight pieces. And that's about what you can handle. Eight to 10 pieces, like super crunchy, satisfying with the crunch, super spicy, so good. Love these. If you have a Trader Joe's nearby, I think you can get these at Safeway and probably online as well. This one just says Trader Joe's on it, but I've seen... I think I looked online too after, um, after I bought it at Trader Joe's, but these are so good. If you like spicy food and you've never tried those, give it a try. Okay. Um, this is the finesse conditioner. I don't know if I have a shampoo in there. I probably went through it at some point, but I do love finesse. It's been around forever. It's really affordable at the drugstore. Um, I have a scent memory of this when I was in, junior high my dad took myself and one of my friends we drove across the country and like camped and visited our family in Chicago and um I had finesse shampoo on that trip and so I don't know I just remember that summer whenever I use finesse so I love this shampoo I'll continue to repurchase it every now and then and it's good stuff I apologize for all the noise I'm making with my trash okay I'm gonna go through soaps so sweet cinnamon pumpkin. I love the gentle foaming hand soap. My kids are playing video games. If you hear them, um, it's Friday night. I think I said that in the last video, but kids are home, husband, dog, everything's going down in the house. <laughs> it's just, I've locked myself in the bedroom cause I've needed to film this video forever to get rid of this um, beauty trash. So anyway, sweet cinnamon pumpkin, uh, love the packaging. I usually buy the Bath and Body Works hand soaps for their packaging specifically and the foaming kind. Um, Harvest pumpkin, spice clove and sugar cane. Love it. Loved this tis the season with Santa. This was red apple, ground cinnamon and clove. That was a good one. Would repurchase any of these. Toasted vanilla chai, cute little cookies. Whipped vanilla, spun sugar, and winter spice. Um, frosted cranberry with the little Christmas tree on the car. Red delicious, uh, frosted, cra frosted cranberry, red delicious apple, and blonde woods. Let's see. Afternoon apple picking. I love the name of that. Crisp apple, succulent pear, and cinnamon. That was a good one. I hope that there's some foaming soaps at the semi-annual sale which starts tomorrow which I will be attending and I'm looking forward to it um winter berry wonder another shower gel I went through this was fine I think I got this last summer possibly at a semi-annual sale okay let's do some candles <clears throat> so this is a DW Holmes candle that I got at TJ Maxx and it's birthday cake and you can see here that there's tons of wax left, but there's no more wicks. I put this in a can candle crock. It's like um, a vase that you plug in that warms up and it just heats the wax. So similar to like a Scentsy wax warmer, but it just heats the wax that's in a candle. So yeah, it was pretty much the scent is all the way gone on this. And it was a nice scent, birthday cake. Um, here's a Bath and Body Works bubbly rosé. Everything is so dusty in here, but burned all the way down to the bottom. The scent notes here were 
pink sparkling rosé, sweet blood orange, splash of cranberry juice, and then it says with essential oils. This was nice, just an effervescent um, rosé scent. I'd purchase that again on sale. Um, berry pumpkin strudel. I love the packaging on that too. Oh gosh, it's so weird to smell fall scents in June. Um, I love fall, it's my favorite time of year, but right now I'm like fully embracing summer. Um, my oldest has one more week of school. My husband and I are um, instructors and so at a, call, a local college and so we're off for the summer already. So I'm in full, full summer mode for at least a couple months. Uh, sweet blueberry, baked apple, blackberry, pumpkin spice, and puff pastry. So that's a good one. I would repurchase that. Ski, so this is Ski Lodge. It's hot cocoa and cream. This is such a good scent. It smells just like Swiss Miss hot chocolate. I have to burn one of these like every winter time or Christmas season. Um, it's decadent milk chocolate, fresh steamed milk, mini marshmallows. Those are the scent notes. So that's a great one. Um, what else? Warm apple pie. My gosh, I went crazy on this scent several years back. Um, I think it was in 2016. Baked Granny Smith apple, melted brown sugar, and flaky homemade crust. This smells just like an apple pie on cold. When you light it, the throw is not that great. So you can smell it when you're up close to it, but at least the ones that I have had, they don't. Like, you can't smell them throughout your entire house. Okay. So many more products. Um, let's see. Keep going. Keep going. Here's another hand soap. This is the Tutti Fruity Candy Happy Easter. I loved this packaging. The scent notes were sweet jelly beans, mixed berries, and sugared lemon. I hope that they have some Easter soaps at this semi-annual sale because I will buy them. Um, went through this TLC Frambuse Glycolic Night Serum from Drunk Elephant. It's 12% AHA BHA blend. People love this stuff. It was fine. I didn't necessarily like have to have it in my routine forever. It's super dirty and dusty on top. Um, it came in, I think, a Drunk Elephant kit that I got during the holidays like a couple of years ago. And... Yeah, it was fine. Drunk Elephant's a good brand. I don't necessarily need to go back and buy this right away. Would I use it again someday? Probably. Um, this is the Cremo Original Shave Cream in Bourbon Vanilla. I got this for my husband for his stocking, I don't know, a couple years ago. It's just a nice shave cream. So I purchased that again. This is the Nioxin Instant Fullness Dry Cleanser. It's a dry shampoo. I got a set. I think it was like 12 mini dry shampoos from Ulta during one of their sales. It was like if you spend a certain amount, they'd send you this kit. And it was a great little kit. It had lots of different dry shampoos in it. So this was one. Um, this big, sexy hair dry shampoo was one. And I might have a couple more down farther in the basket. But probably brands I wouldn't go out and just buy the full size because they're a little bit more pricey than like Batiste or... Um, what's the other one that I really love? I can see it, but I can't think of the name. Anyway, <clears throat> yeah, Batiste is like the main one. Hask, Hask, is that it? Anyway, but it was fun to have that kit and just try out some different ones. Here's another, sh uh, sh what is this called? Soap. <laughs> Marshmallow Fireside. Love Marshmallow Fireside um, Candle, Toasted Marshmallow, Smoldering Woods, and Fire Roasted Vanilla. So fun that they came out with it in a hand soap as well. Okay, this is something that I did not like at all. This is Soap and Glory. I know people really love this brand. I don't get the hype. Every product I've ever tried from them is just kind of like okay for me. So this was a facial cleanser, and it says Amazing 4-in-1 Wash Off Deep Cleansing Milk in the Scent peaches and clean and it didn't take my makeup off I kept this in the shower and I would wash my face in the shower get out to do my skincare routine after my shower start to put like my toner on and I would have makeup come off on my um, cotton ball so didn't love this won't repurchase it I think I got it at Ulta so there's that 
This was something I got in my FabFitFun box. This is the Pharmacy Ran Honey, Honey Halo Ultra Hydrating Moisturizer. Great moisturizer. Hated the packaging. Um, it's just really hard to get in around the little like crevices. See, look, there's even some more in there. Um, they did have this little magnetic scoop, but I don't know. I know it's probably more hygienic. I just can't be bothered with something like that. I want to dip my finger in and I want to get the job done. So I won't repurchase this, but it was a good moisturizer. Um, went through a Febreze peach scented air freshener. This was great. I love the sense of scent of peach, especially in the summer. I got this at Target and I'm using a watermelon one right now. I just keep these in my bathroom and it was good. I would purchase that again. And this product I had for so many years, it was a face mist, coconut water. My husband got it for me at TJ Maxx one year. I think he had it in maybe like in my stocking or something and it was fine. It wasn't anything special. It took me so long to go through and happy to have it used up. Nice glass bottle. Won't repurchase. Um, sunshine and Lemons Cleansing Gel Hand Soap. So this tells me this was on like super sale. I must have got it 75% off because I don't like the cleansing gel soap. But I will buy it if it's 75% off. But the scent notes on this one were Yuzu Grapefruit and Sun Rays. Whatever Sun Rays smell like. So there's that. Um, went through this Vi Ooh, what is this? Vitabrid C12 facial boosting water. It was a toner that came in a advent calendar and it was fine. Wouldn't seek out and repurchase just because there's some really great toners like um the Pixie toner I love and there's a really good toner from The Ordinary. So, I would recommend those two over that one. I don't even know how much that costs. More Crest 3D White. So we brush our teeth. Um, here's a soap from Trader Joe's. Peppermint. This was really fun. I have a Trader Joe's hand soap in our camping trailer right now, which is like basil and something. Um, I like it. I would totally purchase the seasonal Trader Joe's scents again in hand soap. Here's another hand soap that's not Bath and Body Works. It's the brand Everspring from Target in chamomile and cedar. And I just loved the daisies. So cute. I would purchase this brand again. Another hand soap. Uh, my boys just finished this up actually the other day and it's Island Margarita. There's this cute little cactus on it. So fresh squeezed lime and sea salt and it says looking sharp. So cute. Went through some Q-tips. Buy these in a two pack at Costco. I can't believe this is my only tree hut scrub. Why do I find that hard to believe? I guess because I had a um, Dr. Teal's and a raw sugar scrub. So, huh, in nine months, I only went through three, unless I'm missing one. I have one in the shower right now. Anyway, um, Tree Hut Candy Cane. I love the Tree Hut scrubs. This is super dirty, but I, these are my favorite scrubs. They're just very um, exfoliating and they're really affordable. And I would totally repurchase this scent again and this brand. These are fun for Easter baskets and stockings. These are the bath drops from Crayola and they're little round drops that you put in bath water that change colors. And it tells you on here, like if you mix red and yellow, it makes orange, red and blue makes purple. So it tells you how to like change your bath water, different colors, really fun for bath time. <clears throat> here was another dry shampoo that came in that kit. It's by Redken and it's the deep clean dry shampoo. I liked this. Here is a sample of this Sick Pear Dr. Jart. I think it came as like a 100 point pork from Sephora. Love this Sick Pear stuff. I think I already talked about it. Would repurchase, have repurchased. Here is a Bath and Body Works body cream in Honeysuckle Peach Tea. I love this. I have the body spray that I'm working through and it's Honeysuckle Blooms, Juicy Peaches and Sweet Tea. I think I'm on the hunt I think this year in semi-annual sale, they have some peach scent. I can't think of what it's called, but I think I'm gonna get that in the body care. That's my plan. Here is another dry shampoo. This is by the brand Verb, and I think this came in an advent calendar, actually. 
Um, and this was really nice. This is a higher end dry shampoo, so I wouldn't purchase it, but it was good. Here's another shower gel from Bath and Body Works and Confetti Daydream. And I got this at a semi-annual sale either, it must've been last spring or last winter. Not like the one that we just had, but the winter before, possibly. Um, this is the Sephora brand waterproof eye makeup remover. I love this. Um, it has like a blue solution and a clear solution and you shake it before each use and it does a great job of taking off your eye makeup <clears throat> and it's affordable at Sephora. I would repurchase this again. In fact, I don't have any right now. Actually, I have a little sample size Clinique one that I'm using, but after that, I probably will get some more of this at some point. A third kids shampoo and body wash. Um, this is the Aussie Kids Moist Shampoo, and it doesn't have a scent, but I always pick their stuff based on the scent. That one smells really fresh and clean. That's what I like. Um, and it has the pump, so those are my qualifications for purchasing kids stuff. A pump and it smells good. Okay, a couple candles. Beautiful packaging, super heavy duty glass with roses on it. And this was the Pink Peony and Apricot. Oh, this is not Bath and Body Works. This is Homeworks candles, of course. Uh, pink Poppy, Apricot, Star Jasmine, and Lychee Blossom. My mother-in-law, I think, gave this to me for Mother's Day last year. Not this last one, but the one before that. Beautiful scent. Love Homeworks candles. Don't buy them a ton just because they're so expensive. And But I do love Harry Slack and and the what he creates so um there's that i would definitely purchase that again will purchase more homeworks in the future i just definitely tend to buy more bath and body works because it's more easily accessible sun washed citrus from bath and body works this is similar to um capri blue uh that they sell at where do they sell it urban outfitters and the scent notes here are Sorrento lemons, citron, agave nectar, and then it says with essential oils. This is great. I have another one of this and I would buy more. So <clears throat> I think I saw recently, I think we went through a hand soap in this scent. Did I already talk about it? Um, I also saw maybe they have body hair. Am I making that up? I, I would buy this in any form that the, it came in. I really enjoy it. This is something I'm just throwing away and it's a highlighter and it's just, oh gosh, it is really pretty. Wow, that's really pretty. I don't know, I just never reach for it. Like I have so many highlighters. It is still in really good shape though. Man, look how bright that is. Do I wanna get rid of this? Uh, I'm supposed to be decluttering. I don't know, I'm gonna think about this. I'm gonna set it aside. Anyway, got it in my stocking a couple years ago and I just never reached for it. Um, the Chi Iron Guard, I buy this at TJ Maxx. It's a great uh, like step to spray on your hair before you straight it, flat iron it. Um, what did I want to say about this? Oh, it stopped pumping out, so I had to actually dump it into something else. So, But I've used many of these before and I like it. Uh, let's see. This was the Deep Sleep Body Cocoon by the brand This Works. I got this in a FabFitFun box, I think. And I think it smells like lavender. Yes, Oh, super strong. Didn't love it, would never, never repurchase it. I have kind of a love-hate relationship with lavender. Like the bubble bath I can do in lavender, but I don't like lavender scented lotions. So I used it though. Uh, Kids Crest toothpaste. A Vanilla Bean Noel body cream, uh, fresh vanilla bean, sugar, cookies, warm caramel, whipped cream, snow kissed musk. Love this stuff. Buy it like every year, every other year. Very good. We'll repurchase. Okay. We're getting down to the bottom. That's exciting. So two more of these foundations that I use all the time. These are the Revlon color stay and these are in the color 240. So I had one that was 250 in my last video. That was shocking to me, but 240 is my go-to color. Love this stuff. Great coverage. Have used it for 
many, many years, probably eight or nine years. Um, this is another good one. That is the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Fresh Wear. And this is in the color 435. Um, if I wanna mix it up, I'll go for this one. I don't remember where I got this. Maybe at TJ Maxx, but it's the e.l.f. Poreless Face Primer. Oh, there's still, okay, it's gone now. There was just a tiny bit. Now I don't know what to do, what to do with this. Wipe it on the candle. Okay, um, this was just okay. There was nothing special. It's really affordable though. So if you're looking for a primer to try, you could try that one. Another face makeup wipe. Laura Mercier Pure Canvas Primer. I got this in a little sample set from Ulta and it was just okay. Dove deodorant. I'm using native deodorant right now that I think I like better, but this was good. Dove's a good brand. Um, two, a primer, CoverGirl, Lash Blast primer and mascara. Actually, I think I talked about this in my last Ulta haul or a couple Ulta hauls ago. This was great. I would purchase it again, but I've used, used it up. My dog also got a hold of it and chewed on it. <clears throat> um, okay, this was a random body scrub. That was that's right, another body scrub. A friend of mine, her daughter was making these like right at the beginning of the pandemic, and selling them. So I had purchased one from her, and I finally used it up. Three years later, um, this is the body wash, Avenging Apple Scented. It came in a little gift set at Christmas time and from one of my boys, like in their stocking or something. And it was nice. Um, what is this? This was the Rise and Shine Cleansing Volumizing Scrub from Tweaked by Nature. This, I have no idea where I got it, but it was like a scalp scrub. So it was just a really good, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Like clarifying shampoo that I would use every once in a while when I felt like I had a ton of buildup. So I don't know where to buy it, but I enjoyed it. Throw that down there. Um, Vichy Aqua Thermal Lotion. And I don't know where I got this. And I don't think it was anything special because I don't remember it. So there's that. I uh, went through this Mario Badescu facial spray in aloe, herbs, and rose water. This is a great refreshing facial spray. I have a couple more of these that, um, oof, that I need to work through. They came in like a three pack, I think at Christmas time. Just a great, after you like wash your face and tone it, just to spray it on. Um, really refreshing. Okay, I know I talked about the mochi, the fire, but they also have regular rice nuggets that are not as spicy. So there's that. Um, wallflowers, toasted pineapple marshmallow. This is a great summer scent. And fresh pineapple milk chocolate, toasted marshmallows and graham cracker are the scent notes here. Black cherry Merlot, this is a good one. Dark cherry, black raspberry and sumptuous Merlot are the scent notes for that. Um, man, I went through a lot of wallflowers. Let me set these down. Christmas cider. This is Mold Cinnamon Crushed Clove and Simmering Cider. This is a good one. Ew, do you see that? There's something sticky uh, in this basket. I don't know what it is. It's gross. I don't know what this one was. Let's see. Two more. Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm almost to the bottom of this, and I cannot wait to go <laughs> throw away and recycle all this stuff. It's been in my drawers for far too long. I keep a basket like in my bath closet and then I had so much that I had to like, I have some drawers in my bedroom that I had room in. So I just like emptied a drawer and used it for empty products. I know it's weird. Um, okay. I love watching these videos though. So sunny tropical mango, the scent notes here were sugared mango, pink pineapple and ripe nectarine, and then vanilla bean Noel, vanilla bean marshmallow fluff and vanilla cake. Love it. Some Reach Dental Flosses, two. I don't love that one, but it comes free, like at my dentist. Uh, Crest 3D White. Laura Mercier Pure Canvas Primer. This must be what's like leaking everywhere. I think I went through another one of these, but it was just okay. Um, this Virtue Shampoo and Recovery 
shampoo and conditioner. That was just okay, just a sample. So hard to tell with those little samples whether or not I like them. Uh, milk makeup primer again, too little to tell. Love this mascara. This is the Voluminous Lash Paradise Primer. Oh, this was the primer, not the mascara. And I did like this. It's like a white primer like that. You put it on before you put on your masks, mascara and it makes your eyelashes more voluminous. So I would totally purchase that again. Um, I'm getting rid of this just because I've had it for so long and I just never use it. This is the Mario Badescu drying lotion and you're supposed to be able to like put it on a breakout and it helps to dry up a pimple, but I just, I don't get pimples that often. And when I do, I don't use that. Um, the Leaf Aqua Balm face cream, it's really good. I've gone through multiples of that. Uh, I like other moisturizers better, like that Oil Volay nighttime moisturizer I think was better than this, but this is also a good one. Uh, this is the Scandinavia Makeup Finishing Spray. So this is the same brand that makes the Urban Decay All Nighter is my understanding. Um, might even be the same formulation, just sold, sold under a different name. This was fine. I still think I prefer the Urban Decay though. So there's that. Um, last few products. Okay. Garnier Micellar Water. Love this Micellar Water. Have gone through so many of these. Um, after I wash my face, I just take a cotton pad and go over my face before I go in with my toner just to make sure I get any last traces of makeup or gunk. In the morning, if I'm not, like if I've showered the night before and I'm not going to fully wash my face, I always take a makeup pad or a cotton ball and like do that on my face in the morning. This is something that came, I think, as a sample from Ulta, and it's Bye Bye Bloat. So took that when it was that time of the month, and not sure if it helped. This is the Essence False Lashes um, Primer, another one similar to that Lash Paradise. I'm really enjoying, oh no, this is the, just kidding, this is the actual mas mascara. I think this was fine. I prefer the Lash Princess, the black and green tube, though. Um, here's a Morphe, what is this? Morphe concealer, but I used it as an eyeshadow base and I prefer the Painterly Paint Pot over this. I just wanted to use it up because I don't usually use concealer at all. It usually ends up looking cakey on me when I use this concealer, but it was a fine eyeshadow base. So, um, and then the Glow Tonic by Pixi is a great toner. I think I mentioned it earlier. This and the Ordinary are my favorite when it comes to makeup toners. So, Oh my gosh, we made it through. Those are all my empties in the last nine months. And um, if you're still here, give this video a thumbs up. Comment below um, what your favorite product you've used up recently or the one that you're using recently that is like something that you love and you use all the time. Uh, again, subscribe if you're new to my channel and I will see you in my next video. Bye.